In today's video, we're going to go over the Ciro 3D Crown Tail Light with Light Strike technology. We're also going to show you how to install it. Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Ryan Erlocker here, lawbidingbiker.com. I always thank you. That's right, you for checking back in. And just be aware that you can get the Crown Tail Light in either black or chrome with red lens or smoke lens, and they both come with red LEDs. And just be aware that these actually connect to an app via Bluetooth on your smartphone. There's a ton of different animations and customization you can do, and we'll show you that, some of it, at the end. All right, just be aware that these will fit an array of different years and models. We do sell them right in the Law Abiding Biker store. Fitment is over there. Check it out. Uh, you do have to have your stock signal bar because it actually mounts to that. And just be aware uh, this will work with the stock signals or the Fang LED inserts from Ciro 3D. And with that said, what do you say we get our hands dirty, huh? But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon every time those are hit. Another biker joins the revolution. We'd love to have you be part of it. All right, first thing he's doing is just removing the seat. You may have a uh, screw back there, but this is one of our Rick Rack bolts. Makes it quick and easy for getting it off without tools in the Law Abiding Biker store, of course. So just backing that out and he can lift up and pull that seat back. All right, next he's just gonna remove the saddlebag here. And you may have the stock levers on there that kind of ratchet and click off on the newer bikes. These are our Rick Rack saddlebag bolts available in the Law Abiding Biker store. Keeps your bag nice and secure there. And once that is out, he can just lift and get the saddlebag out of the way. All right, next he's just gonna remove the side cover and they just have rubber grommets and they just pop off and get that out of the way. And you can always pull the main fuse there. That's your uh, fuse panel if you're working on electrical. All right, so we're gonna to have to get up under the rear fender. You can do it without a mini jack and a lift, but uh, since we have it, of course, we're gonna lift the bike up a little bit and that will give uh, Lurch more space to work up in there. So that's what he's doing right now, of course. This is available in the Law Abiding Biker store, or Titan Lifts and Mini Jack. And that'll just give just a little extra space. All right, moving underneath the back fender here, there's just a dust cover for the tri bar light there. And we're just going to use like a trim tool and you're just going to pop it. There's some tabs and get that dust cover out of the way. That's where your wires are housed. So there's a black plug there just for reference on the back side of that is a 7 16 inch nut and a wire clamp. And so we're going to have to get up underneath the fender and remove that nut to uh, uh, free that wire. All right, we're going to come underneath the back of the bike here to where we took the dust cover off. Okay, and then you'll see the main wiring harness there. It pulls out the right side and he's, there's little tabs, one on the bottom. You can just stick a little screwdriver in there and pop those. There's one on top that he's getting. Once you pop those, you can unplug that main wiring harness there. All right, and on the back side is a 7 16 inch nut that we're looking for. He's pointing to it here. And that is where you're gonna be uh, taken off. And uh, so socket or box end wrench, whatever works. And to reference that, it's the rubber cap on the outside of your fender. And he's just going onto it with a socket. He's gonna work it off there. And you can see he's just working on that there. And he's just finishing up there and it's just a nut and washer. And of course that frees that wire that we unplugged from the box there and gives you some slack to play with. All right, and on the back side of this light bar are two bolts, both sides. You just have to reach up underneath the fender with a half inch socket and uh, you kind of got to just feel your way up there. You can't see him with a flashlight if you shine up in there. You're going to work on backing those out. And of course, he's just getting the other side now, working up underneath there. Just make sure you support everything because that's going to free it up when he removes that bolt. All right, and just finishing up there, taking the bolt out of there. And that will free that assembly up. All right, and from the inside, you're just pushing on that grommet and popping it out. That frees everything up there. So this is the back of the signal bar. Yours may have a red reflector connected to it with two Torx T27 bolts. So you'll have to remove that if yours is on there. Okay, so now he's got the crown tail light and he's just gonna basically get it into place. And really what he's looking to do is run that wire off the crown tail light down through the same channel as the stock wiring there. And there we go. And as you can imagine, a ton of effort and expenses 
goes into keeping this channel going strong. There's a way you can support us by becoming a patron member. I'll link to it in the description below. There are benefits for signing up, such as t-shirts and stickers. You can get into the private Facebook group. Uh, you get podcasts, early live video broadcasts and chat, and up to access to our premium videos, and of course, access to those ride meetup and events. All right, let's get back into your video. Okay, now we're just gonna run the stock wire along with the crown tail light wire that we've put in there now. And he's running the stock wire in there now. And feeding everything down through there. And kind of just getting everything back in place here. All right, and you're just popping the rubber grommet back into place there. All right, and you're just putting it back into place there. And he's reaching up underneath the fender there, putting that original bolt. You're going to reuse it in that right side. You'll go up and do the left side the same way. And he got both of those started. And he's just going up there with that half inch socket now and tightening them both down. Of course, you could put some Loctite if you choose. Okay, and now that's that stock wire clamp for the stock wiring. He's just gonna put that back up on the stud in there. And it's really just a feeling game. And you can see the other crown tail light wire is just dangling still because we'll be riding that. And he's gonna go up with his uh, nut and washer there. And going back up with his uh, 7 16 inch socket there. And he'll tighten it down, that wire clamp. Okay, and he's gonna plug that main plug in from the light bar back in that we took out earlier and it only goes one way. Just make sure it snaps in place. All right, and you can see the dust cover there. He's going to, you gotta put it back in place. You see how he has it, there's two tabs on the top. You gotta get lined up and then it will snap into place on the bottom there. All right, and of course he's got it uh, in place now. He's just gonna use a little rubbing alcohol to clean off the stock light bar to make sure it's nice and clean before we try to stick that on there. All right, and on the bottom is a little tab for you. You can just peel it off. It's just 3M sticky tape there. Okay, so you can see how he's angling it to the front a little bit. It nudges up against there because you want to leave a gap in, in between your fender before you stick it down. So make sure you have it all the way forward on the light bar and then that will leave that gap in there for you. And they say to push down for about 60 seconds and then it should be cured within 24 hours. All right, so now he's got the crown tail light wire there. He's going to just run it uh, behind the filler panel there and then kind of through the strut. Get out, rid of all the slack there and then we're just going to follow the stock cables and wires along the strut there. So now you can see he's gonna run that uh, behind the frame there. Just make sure it's not pinched or gonna rub on the tire. And he's just gonna look, there's lots of different holes up here. You just gotta feel for it to try to run it up underneath the seat. And just running it up through there underneath the seat. And there you can see he's got it ran. All right, and then he's just gonna start zip tying it there. And the kit does come with some zip ties and running that wire and wire management is really up to you as you run it up along the strut there okay and of course he's just gonna lower the bike back down now i've got everything in place and just going back in with his main fuse there and just going back on with the side cover there as you can see and just line the uh grommets up there pops into place okay so now we're under the seat and you've got a gray plug and a black plug the black plug is your brake uh line so you're going to split it basically and he's going to push and pull and disconnect that. In his other hand is the actual splitter from the Ciro 3D crown light. And he's just going to put that in between. It only goes one way. He's going to pop it on and then the other side of the stock line. And included in your kit is a little dialectic grease. He's going to put that in there in the crown tail light plug you can see. And then coming off the splitter is the other side of that plug. And I'll just click that together. And then wire management obviously is going to be up to you on this on how you kind of button everything down. All right, and just back on with the saddlebag there. Put it into place. And of course, you're just going to screw it back in with the Rick Rack saddlebag safety bolts. Sell them in the Law Abiding Biker store. Secure it all down. All right, and just going back with the seat there. Of course, push it forward. There's a tongue there that goes up front. Secure it down in the back. And he'll just put his Rick Rack bolt in there. And there we go. All right, we're just gonna test it. He's turning the ignition on. And yep, it's doing its startup thing, so we know we're good to go there. And I'll hit the brake. There you go, and then we'll get into just uh, briefly into the app here. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through the entire app, but there is just a bunch of different settings. Um, how long, run brightness, um, turn mode, brake animation, 
countdown time, uh, you name it. It's, uh, it's got the settings in here and uh, we'll just show you a couple. You can change your password if you want, but again, you just have to go through and mess with it and see what you like best. All right, so we're gonna go generally over the app. It's, we're not gonna get really in depth, um, but Light Strike is what it's called. It'll be in your app store. You gotta power your bike on, of course. You're gonna make a Bluetooth connection um, within the app, and you're gonna find the crown tail light. Click on it. This also runs other Zero 3D products, so be aware of that. You've got your battery voltage. Um, now there's a power on animation, so it does a certain thing when you power it on. Of course, there's drop downs and you can choose different things. We can go down to run brightness. You can see you can basically turn it off. It's just a slide bar um, and uh, make it different brightnesses. All right, you can also have different brake animations. I just have it set to uh, three right now and you see what it is. There's also a cool down time, uh, depending on if you want it to do every time that I hit my brake lever. You can do a cool down so there's a stall between that when you hit your brake lever. And there's also a brake burst mode which you can turn on or off and what that is. Um, I'll set it down here to like three seconds. It's a burst delay. And there's also a burst mode, what you want it to do. I'll set it at four. So basically what that means is I'm gonna hold this brake down and it's gonna repeat that if I keep it held every three seconds. And you can also, uh, like I say, burst delay, the frequency, it's just, there's slide bars and drop downs. You just got a ton of customization within the app. So uh, yeah, just have fun playing with it. All right, your journey's not done on the channel. I'm gonna pop a couple of videos on the screen here for you. Hopefully something useful or entertaining. Heck, maybe both. At any rate, make sure you get out there and ride every chance you get, Bikeaholics. Peace.